guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Tech House Creation Volume 2 pack by Sample Sound and we're going to be making a Tech House uh, song from scratch. Um, and I'm going to show you how to utilise your workflow in Ableton and just make sure that you're making songs at a good speed and not wasting time on things. Just opening your eye onto a new perspective and showing you how making a track a day will help benefit you in the long run. Repeat, repeat, don't sleep, don't sleep. Wow, so there's some cool vocals here. Definitely gonna... Repeat, repeat. Some cool vocals. Gonna use all of these and make like a vocal loop. Just a bit of creativity, you know. No. <clears throat> yeah, so... Don't sleep, repeat, repeat, don't sleep. Don't sleep. That that to me is so interesting. Um, so I'm just gonna consolidate that. Add a bit of delay. Repeat. Repeat. Ho -ho! Oh yeah. So there's some, you know, there's some cool stuff in this pack. Repeat. Repeat. It's a bit too far. Repeat. Repeat. Cool. So we're just building our track. The key kind of takeaway from this lesson is build your drop first and if you have the drop you can build the rest of your song around it because the drop is going to have the most complexity in the track. So if you build your drop it's going to be a nice catchy hook and then that way at least you've got 10, 15, 20 seconds guaranteed of interesting music. Transpose this down. Don't slip. Don't slip. Repeat. Repeat. Don't slip. Don't slip. Repeat. Repeat. Don't slip. I think we're gonna change how much this is transposed. Don't slip. Don't sleep. Okay. So it's just a game changer, really. This workflow is incredible. So clever. So let's get some kicks. Oh, that's pretty nice. And just make sure that's lined up. We're going to layer the kicks as well because they sound quite nice, but I think if we combine them, it's going to sound even better. That's it, now we just need, yep, yeah, huge clap, pretty standard, and we can transpose this clap down. Or up. Um, and yeah, we're just programming, doing our drums. Okay. So we're just gonna console this clap loop. That sounds good, and we want a delay on that. Repeat. Repeat. Don't sleep. Wow. Don't sleep. Repeat. Repeat. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Repeat. So we've got quite a cool groove going. Repeat. Repeat. I mean, these hi-hats are too good not to use. So we put the hi-hats here, you just line them up with the grid up top. And we just go like this. Repeat. 
Consolidate those guys as well. So yeah, we're using uh, audio today, guys. Um, there's no difference between, you know, making a track with just audio and making a track with just MIDI. It's about the end product at the end of the day. You want a song to sound good, and that's what we're focusing on. There's no point spending eight hours on a sound or 70 hours on a track. If it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound good. It goes in the bin, wastes of time. But if you make a track and it sounds good, it doesn't matter if you just use loops or you just used or a MIDI, it doesn't matter what anyone says, it's about the quality of the track, is it going to make people move on the dance floor, is it going to make you and that audience happy, that's that's all that matters honestly, anyone that says anything else is wrong, like, you know, making a track in MIDI, you know, if you want to do that, that's fine, I mean, it's good to know how to do that, I guess, uh, you know, it's more than one way to skin a cat, but, if you make a song in audio and it sounds better than the song you made, you know, just using MIDI or just using audio, then the song that you made just using audio is, is going to be the song that does better on the dance floor. It's going to do better commercially because it's 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 more it's a more enjoyable experience. You can still create a story using just audio, um, and it's you know you're using you're using the hardware of the people who made the sample pack. So chances are they've spent a lot of time processing these sounds. So it's just like instead of going in and making a kick you can just get a kick that's already made with all the processing that you need already on it if it if it fits the sound profile that you desire then you might as well just get it out of the sample pack stick it into your project and it saves you a lot of time and it's equally fun to work with uh, audio and video if anything i have more fun working with audio so yeah that's just my workflow advice for you guys Okay. This is cool, I might reverse it. Repeat. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Repeat. Repeat. Cool, so we've got these nice kind of crunchy drums. Repeat. Repeat. I think we could use some compression. Um, repeat, repeat. So we're just gonna don't slip. Solo things with the don't kick. Slip. Repeat. Just to see how they sound. Repeat. So I think blue compression. Don't slip. To that. Don't compress. slip. Repeat. Just give repeat. it that kind of airy sound. Don't slip. Don't slip. Repeat. Repeat. Don't slip. Don't slip. Repeat. Repeat. Don't slip. Get glue compression on that. Don't slip. Top loop. Repeat. Side chain that. To Repeat. The kick. One of the kicks. That's fine. Don't slip. The beefier kick. Just to Don't give slip. It, uh, just the transients. The shape of the transients. Repeat. But I could group those two kicks together and Don't slip. like this. And don't slip. So you command G or Alt G, Alt G and you've got a group, you've got a kick group and then we can Don't slip. side chain the top blue to the kick group. Repeat. Repeat. So yeah, that sounds Don't good. Slip. No, the top Don't loop slip. side chain to the Repeat. This could definitely Repeat. use some compression to the kick group. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't slip. Repeat. And yeah, just... Cool. Cool. We could compress these kicks as well, so compress uh, on the kick. And then repeat. Don't sleep. So now we've just got this absolutely huge kick. Um, and then we could add a compressor onto the other kick maybe. Yeah, that's huge. Just adds a bit of like punch. <clears throat> Don't sleep. Don't. And then maybe EQ this clap a bit. Don't sleep. 
quite heavy. Let's see if we can if we can press it. Blue compression to the hats, and then glue it to the kit. There's something not right about this clap. I don't know what it is. Just a bit. Repeat. Don't slip. Don't slip. Repeat. Repeat. I guess it's just a really good clap. It's just making my ears feel like a bit. Maybe EQ this. Yeah. Don't sleep. I mean. It's perfect. This is literally perfect. Oh, it's one of the best drum grooves I've made, I think. So what can we add? Cool, I like that. Let's hear it. to this base we just want a nice base with the kick so side chain to the group Some cool sound effects in here. Okay, maybe cushion loop is what's missing. start in here we just have a little a little flick up like this and then that at the end like and like oh sugar 
And like that. Like that. Yes. Maybe more subtle. got our <laughs> simple track it is complex and simple at the same time there's only you know there's like maybe 12 layers 11 12 layers so it has the complexity of depth and it has the simplicity that yeah, that, that is the track is quite simple but it yeah, will get the crowd moving and that's exactly what we want. So we're just gonna highlight <coughs> our drop segment. So we've got our little loop and we're just gonna duplicate it along. Duplicate and we're just watching the bar at the bottom getting our track to the right time duration, the right length that we want. Yeah, because down here we've got just the time ruler so you can drag left and right to scroll it okay I think we want this track to be around about here so I like the vocal um, I think we could do like a MIDI track and we can have Break down three. This could help with our arrangement. maybe and then drop two three mini so I'm just I've got a MIDI track here and I'm just double clicking uh, in the arrangement view and it's creating um, a new MIDI uh, window for me to draw MIDI in so Put like a mini edit, uh, drop one, drop two, drop three. And this is just helping me lay out the track in my mind how I want it to look. And uh, yeah, we're just slowly building the track in our head, and then we've got a plan. And a man with a plan is going to go a lot further than a man with no plan. So, knowing what the track's going to look like, where the energy's going to be, the sounds. That's, this is exactly how we want it to be. Um, and yeah, there we've got drop seven. And,
Right, okay, so we can now kind of sculpt the song to fit this template. You'll see it all very it all come together very soon. I'll do. That's fine. get this, copy it and then the volume automation like that. Same on this. Same on this. Same on this. And also like delay. Mm -hmm. Reverb. So now we just delete what we don't want.
Add more variation. And this is like a sign bass, uh, one synth kind of wave loop, one shot. And by changing the transposition, the, the, the pitch, it's just going to keep the listener interested and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, there's going to be more variation in the track. to help take the listener on a bit of a journey. Eventually, you could do the desk and so oh, sorry.
cool. So yeah, that was me making a tech house track in about half an hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry about the interruptions. And yeah, if you've got any recommendations for the next song or video, let me know in the description. And if let me know your thoughts on what you thought of this track and how I made it um, in the comments. Yeah, appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much, guys. Have a brilliant day. Peace. Thanks.